pause, and the Grinch put a hand to his ear, and he did hear a sound rising over the snow. I wouldn't have gotten here without the Bible and the story they had that started on page one, you know, Genesis 1. Genesis 1, and this lovely cross, or the T, or the plus sign, you pick it. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing, without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming, it came, somehow or other, it came just the same. The shape that the cross makes depicts the shape of the heart. Remember, you're going to have a heart generated from this side, both positive and negative Y, positive and negative X. So you're going to have four hearts being generated, okay? And as they're going down the coil, they're going to be spinning, rotating, okay? When they're going down the coil using the right hand rule and the left hand rule. And when they converge in the center, it's going to make an X, guys. It's going to make a new x in a circle so it's going to create a new like it's going to create a new field it's going to it's going to shoot out one dimensional lines guys it's like it's going to it's going to make a plane in the middle okay because of all the balance going on okay and it's going to send out you know like the care bear stare guys you know the care bears and the heart comes out of them to to defeat evil that's going to be shooting out What happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. So that means you're going to have three hearts. You're going to have one, two, and three. And then, the true meaning of Christmas came through, and the Grinch found the strength of ten Grinches, plus two. So this really isn't the shape of what creates the shape of the heart. What creates the shape of a heart is if you have an L followed by an L. Remember this album that I decoded. You now they spoke about the king that died and Winston Churchill that died. What the hell are they in, guys? The thing that creates the heart. Hey, look, free energy. And who is the X, the circled X? Who's the circled X, guys? That's Eisenhower. And now that his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light. With a smile in his soul, he descended Mount Crumpet, cheerily blowing hoo-hoo on his trumpet. 